The sun pokes a lush green landscape here in Ramutonga, a drab village in Hoima. This area is home to hundreds of families which were evicted from their customary land to pave way for the construction of an oil treatment plant. The discovery of oil and gas in the Alberta and Graben has set off a chain of land evictions. The families here live in IDP camps akin to the squalor in communities in northern Uganda during the LRA insurgency. It's a situation of misery as locals here have no land to till and have no access to school and health facilities. To most of them here, they were better off before oil was discovered. What happened to these people is that they were evicted on 25th of August 2014 uh, on land that they had stayed in, but land that uh, an investor had interest in and had entered into this agreement with a neighbor who had a title but in, had surveyed them illegally and the matter was in court. But before the matter, their matter was uh, actually uh, court delivered ruling on that, they were evicted. And from that day, they were brought here. They were given land by a good Samaritan. And as we talk now, the matter is still in court. Uh, we, the locals made an application claiming that they were evicted wrongly. A ruling was delivered that they were evicted wrongly, up to now they are still here. For me, I can say this oil is not good because it is due to this oil. This is why we are suffering here. Because then uh, uh, McLester came, Company came to one of these rich men in which we were together with them. We, uh, he gave, they gave him some money. That is where we are evicted, that in which those companies, their plan is to come and build their factories here. But again we are saying, if that government is going to take land away from the people, where they are doing exploration, where they are going to build an oil refinery, where people are taking land to build oil waste treatment plants, it should be done, as the Constitution, as the constitution says, in a fair, timely and uh, prompt manner. Don't take people off their land before paying them their money. Pay them, then let them go agree to the amount that they want because they own land. This narrative is what fits into the report titled Up Against Giants, Oil-Influenced Land Injustices in the Alberta and Graben in Uganda, authored in 2015 by Transparency International Uganda and Civic Response on Environment and Development. The report portrays a grim picture, revealing that the Alberta and Graben is slowly moving towards a lawless oil frontier where rules don't apply to those with power. The report implicates high-profile figures who grab communally owned land. It's not just here in Ramutonga, where land has been grabbed. In a sub-region which suffered historical injustices at the hands of imperialists, many indigenous people are squatters on their own land. British put here deliberate policies to keep us down. And this is what our post-independence government should have started with, to try and dismantle those policies so that they can correct the mistakes, and then we are brought at par with the rest of Uganda. We are not, and we continue to be like that. The other parts of this savanna landscape were gazetted as game parks and forest reserves. Bunyoro has since filed a suit seeking compensation worth 700 million British pounds over claims of genocide and plunder during a protracted struggle between the colonial army and Omkama Kabalega. Yet even as controversy swirls over this case, there is an upsurge in land grabbing which remains a potential tinderbox. Here in Buhuka, the community on the shores of Lake Albert is apprehensive that their land, which is barely a kilometer from the Kingfisher oil well, could be taken. As per now, they always tell us when the production starts, there will be a pipeline from here up to the refinery, and that will also take part of our land. So such a thing will always give us worry. We are intending to, to get settled here. So land is in scarce, it is fixed, it can't, it can't, can't be expanded. The only land we had is the only land we, we still have today. But demand for it has to change. It's becoming very high. 
a slick highway has been built which snakes through the escarpment to this area. However, the community here lives in mud and water houses and there are barely any social services extended to this remote part. On the way from Buhuka to Hoima in Changwali is Bugoma Forest Reserve which has pitted Bunyoro Kingdom against government after the Omkama gave 8,000 hectares to a sugar farm to grow sugarcane. In response, government cancelled the land site of the kingdom, which claims the forest is part of its ancestral areas. I have taken action as a minister and written to the commissioner land registration and the permanent secretary to effect notice of cancellation to the Omukama of Bunyoro Kitara Kingdom on the following grounds. Number one, under the Memorandum of Understanding signed by the Kingdom and Uganda, it clearly spells out that forest reserve are not included in the property restituted in the Kingdom. It looks to me, people started speculating as far back as 1998, even before Taro Oil came out to, to declare that they, have, they had found some 3.5 uh, is it trillion or billion barrels. There was speculation even at that time. Degazetting some of these areas created an opportunity for smart people, I call them smart, to acquire land titles. And people have got huge, huge, huge chunks of land, land titles, in, in those areas. The public records archives in London, which I can access on the internet. I just sit in my house on my laptop and I get the information, I am, I am able to read these things. I, I could even tell you from my laptop who is who's having those land titles, but it, it, it's, 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 not, it's not for me to tell you that. See, that sort of impunity. There is impunity. There are crooks in this country who have impunity because they have the money. And they should be told. Someone is keeping silent. The land grabbing almost is on the lands of my grand ancestors. In Kibale, we have a King Kitehimbwa, we have King Kamarasi. Uh, in other areas where they buried them, like in Masindi, almost that place in Kiduma has been taken up by people who are not supposed to be there, like the Beatles, more especially on the lineage of that king. So we call upon the government that almost all the land which is being grabbed here belonged to our ancestors. This way you see other people attending to call them uh, hunting grounds, and yet they were grazing grounds. It was an ancestral land and it was returned to the kingdom. So they should hand over all the titles they have. That's why you see there is a problem now in Changwari because of ownership. NFA says they are the owners and the kingdom says. And the kingdom was here before NFA. So the owners, land here, traditionally, belongs to the king. Have MPs in Bunyoro who are sleeping? They've, I don't know how many parliaments they've slept through. They are still sleeping. The, the other day the king had to go to parliament to wake them up. And some of them were very annoyed. <laughs> I was afraid that Kosa Mutale came in here and he said he tried to do something, something to, to, wake, to, to shake them into, into waking up. But they are still sleeping. Lad is being grabbed, they are sleeping. A day earlier on, we try to speak to the community in Bugoma that lives on the boundaries of this forest. However, an angry mob armed with machetes, bows and arrows, which was facing off with the police, threatened to harm us. But a day after we returned, the community says they were given this piece of land by the Bunyoro Kingdom. What Emotions ran high when one of the community leader's sons was arrested. 
amsangira ala tractor amuhireho bamuteire bara ati nyongira bara batamwikiza naho imabonde bamusalire muwana mutabani wange bakumweta kasungwa joseph kasungwa hope kama bwa ito president abutugarukire kutandika tunangiza amaziga tukachurobwa bwa bwa bajungu hati tugakire mukuchurobwa bwa bakwiragura kune nangana kekerebe kintu keki kumanyisa ki bwa kitakwa tukidika kafwa no muntu kamanya fwire kintu kiamani muno ulire kabalega kafwa daicho tufwe tuwe oba itu kiki tukali yake abanyoro tukali yake as as, uh, as police, we have advised the, the two parties, NFA and the Kingdom, to be calm. What we have done, we have uh, deployed our forces in that disputed area for purposes of maintaining the status quo. And I do not want to go into details of this because... Uh, this case is now court going, where NFA sued uh, the kingdom. Security personnel, including the army, remains holed up here as the situation threatens to spill out of control. As the lasting vestiges of British colonial rule are a grim reminder, the spectre of conflict continues to haunt Bunyoro. A new face of Hoima is emerging with the construction of hotels that suit the tastes and preferences of oil executives underway. However, for the underclass, the benefits accruing from the exploration of oil, like jobs, still remain an elusive dream. Many of them have been evicted from land, which is their only possession. Emmanuel Mutaiziwa, NTV.